good afternoon happy friday to all of your sunshiny faces it has not felt like friday today for me guys it's felt like saturday because we had snow day today matthew and jack were both home from school and my dad was home from work um so it is gonna be crazy over the next couple days um today so la over last night we got i don't know how much snow a lot of snow and it, we ended up um there was a break in the snow though from it was supposed to be a break from i think either two or three o'clock until 10 o'clock tonight so i think it's snowing again now we did have that short little break so i'm um, not short i mean it was a handful of hours but in between that time we ended up going to the grocery stores so we went to valley produce and caputo's where i got some really good deals guys uh valley produce was having a special two-day sale i think for like valentine's day upcoming valentine's day so it ended up um there was this amazing deal on laundry detergent, Tide laundry detergent. The big like 100 ounce uh, bottles of Tide laundry detergent, they're normally at Walmart $11.98. They're on rollback I think for $10.88 right now. So um, like I said, they're normally like about 12 bucks. And so we went to Valley Produce today where they were on sale, part of their two day sale, the same size 100 ounces for $8.99 and I had a $2 coupon so I ended up only paying $6.99 for one of them which I ended up actually getting two because they were limited to and I had two coupons so I ended up going and grabbing two of those things what I bought for two of them is almost what one would cost at Walmart so it was a really good deal um and like I said for Tide laundry detergent which we have stockpiled Tide laundry detergent because we love it so much. I honestly, I'll use some of the cheaper stuff and like kind of offset sometimes, but I think it's, I don't know. I think it's, the smell is a lot stronger and it feels, I feel like it lasts longer. Like it's, I don't know. I just, I think it actually cleans clothes better, <laughs> like to be honest. Um, and like it removes, like, I don't know. I, like, if you have good fabric softener, then you can just mask the smell of it. But if you don't, or you don't use fabric softener, then I think Tide's really good. But um, we get the big, like, the thing of Tide. I like to get just, like, the original scent of Tide. Because if you've noticed, if it has, like, plus bleach or, like, plus, um, like, downy fabric softener in the Tide, it's a smaller bottle than it's, like, 94 ounces instead of 100, which isn't a, a huge, huge deal, but I want to get more if I'm going to be paying the same price. So, and we buy fabric softener regardless, so we'll use it, um, you know, even if it is plus, you know, downy or whatever, because I'd rather use more or less of the Tide or, like, not have to use as much and use the fabric softener anyway. Um... So yeah, it was a really good deal. And then they had a couple other good deals too, like on Baby Belt Cheese. They had it for $133, whereas at Walmart, we checked yesterday and it was $269 at Walmart. So it was a whole like over a dollar cheaper part of their two-day sale and like a handful of other things. Obviously, I went and got all my produce. I'm not doing any freezer dinners this week. I still need to make my quiche, um, which I still have all the ingredients are still good to make it. But I'm going to do that this week. And then I'm also going to make, um, I have like a shrimp something in the freezer again all of the none of the things are perishable they won't go bad but i need to cook the stuff make it and then freeze it um like it's with rice it's like a shrimp stir fry and it's a freezer dinner so i just need to make that you want me to bring this up here for you i'll i'll bring it up and then you can <laughs> if i bring it <laughs> charlie if i bring your toy up onto the bed then you can easily get up here and not have to worry about <laughs> i'm trying to help I'll put the toy on the bed and then you can come up and chew on the toy. Now, come on. There, now get up. Now get up. Here. And I'll throw this toy up there too. Go. Go on. Go on. Look at Bravo. He's like, are you crazy? <laughs> so, anyways, though, we went to the grocery store. We got a handful of good deals. And then, like, we got uh, Valley or Caputo's didn't have that much stuff going on. They had a couple decent deals. They had strawberries were on sale and they also had. Um, 
what else? I don't even know. Their um, grape and um, their cherry tomatoes were on sale as well. And then I also um, got, they had orange juice, the big gallon size orange juice for $3.99, which was cheaper, um, like ounce wise again, than getting the like smaller ones, like the cartons at, um, what's it called? Like they had them on sale at Valley Produce for $1.99, but ounce wise is actually cheaper to go with the bigger gallon size for four bucks. So, um, and I was planning on getting two of them anyway, so it was actually worked out better. But regardless, we got orange juice, we got like a handful of other good things. But I did record for you guys while we were out in the snowstorm, while the break in the snowstorm. It's supposed to start, start up again, like I said, like 10 o'clock tonight, so I think it's snowing. But we went out during the break and it wasn't snowing, but you guys can see the aftermath of all the snow, which I feel like it's kind of hard to pick up in the car because it, we're like the plows, like push the snow into like the ditches the run-ons from the street so you can't really tell if it piled up but I'll show you guys um in just a second after this I'll show you guys what it looks like outside in our yard um and how much snow we actually got um and again it's kind of a little misdeception only because we did shovel and so it looks like there's a heck of a lot more but um like I'd say it's maybe probably less than a foot but maybe close to it and I think we're supposed to at least get close to a foot like I said with the shoveling it looks way over a foot it looks like almost two feet but um I think that with the more snow that's also supposed to come we should probably maybe we do this, but I don't know I'll let you guys decide So you guys can see out there, oh, maybe that is just about a foot, honestly, because you guys can see the snow isn't really like stacked up right there, but there's a part in the driveway where it's like super tall. Um, and it's like very light and fluffy snow too, so it blows and it like falls all over the place, but yeah, you guys can probably see out there like what it's shoveled at. <laughs> um, let me see if I can't show you guys either. Honestly though, I really don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see it outside. As you guys might be able to see that big heaping mountain of snow out there. Yeah, that's like, honestly, no, probably maybe close to three feet tall. Um, like, yeah that's it's a big heap of snow out there but i'd say yeah we probably did end up getting about a foot but most of our neighbors and stuff like that have shoveled their driveways and all that kind of stuff and the sidewalks are pretty clear we already got those done and then also to the um what was i gonna say the snow plows have been out the streets are totally fine at least when we went out too they were fine the Caputo's parking lot though was actually kind of like slushy like they didn't shovel it really well but valley produce was actually really good so i'm not totally sure but yeah you guys can see out there kind of what it looks like and out in the street so it's piled up we've honestly got more snow before and it's not snowing right now but we've got more snow before we had a blizzard my freshman year of high school i remember and we got just like maybe two or plus feet maybe three feet of snow honestly guys it was crazy crazy this is close but not nearly close enough so it was a lot of snow it wasn't quite as much as like I said that snowstorm it was a lot but um my dad said that it wasn't my dad said it was like kind of bad this morning but it wasn't horrible um there was just, if the, my dad was even saying too, like something about the plows, like that they weren't out as early as like they probably should have been to like could start getting it under control. We actually saw two while we were out though, but there wasn't like that many out early. Like, I don't know. And my dad said it wasn't horrible this morning when he woke up because he didn't know if he was going to go to work or not. Um, and so they were going to wait until the morning and then figure out, um, him and his boss were going to figure out if they wanted to go in or not. Um, and so they were just like, yeah, let's just call work for today. Um, so yeah, they, it, like my dad said, it wasn't horrible. Like you couldn't get onto the street or like you couldn't 
you know, the streets were horrible and slippery and everything like that. He just said that he thinks that the plows might have not got out as early as they should have because it, like, we knew when it was starting, but, like, when me and my mom went to Walmart yesterday night, like, it had already, like, started to get really slick, and, like, we hadn't seen one plow at all, um, and I didn't even, even two months we got back, I hadn't seen any go down our street for, like, an hour or two after that, which was, like, you know, probably about two or plus three maybe hours after it started snowing, so, um, yeah, and because we have a, there's a government building actually on our street, so, like my dad was saying that um, they normally plow our street first and ours is also a major s connecting street between the other two major streets. Um, so, our street is normally gets plowed pretty quickly. Um, luckily, we don't have just like country roads or anything like that or we're on some side street that like nobody pays attention to um since we are like a major connecting road and then also to like i said we do have a government building on our street we normally get plowed pretty quickly so um the <laughs> what are you doing you're throwing all of your toys all over the place and trying to make a little nest he's so cute guys he reminds me of my ike so much Look at the way he makes his little nest is just like the way Ike used to do that. Honestly though, I've never had small dogs with the exception of Ike and then these two. But um, the like we had a beagle which he was like a medium sized dog. And then we had mainly large dogs. And with the exception of Ike and these two which Bravo, Bravo I guess does it a little bit. It's kind of more Charlie I think though. Um, I've never seen them, like, do that, like, make, like, I call it a nest. Just because, like, they get all, like, the blankets all around them, and then they lay right in the middle of them. Um, so, yeah, I've never really, I've never seen a big dog try and do that before. Um, and, like, Bliss will, like, walk in a circle, but, like, him and, like, what I used to do, <laughs> they've, like, scoop the blankets into, like, a pile, and then they lay on top of the pile. Like, they like to be surrounded by the blankets. <laughs> So yeah, it's really cute, but we're going to go to Walmart and Aldi and Menards tomorrow. Um, we have to get one thing at Menards and I also have to get my newspapers and then at uh, Walmart, I'm going to do a tiny little bit of rebate shopping at Walmart because um, I'm not doing my big grocery haul um, or anything like that. I'm not, I decided guys, I'm going to start my couponing and rebate and stuff like that since I'm actually doing it more I think now um I'm gonna probably sh start doing it actually next month so I'm gonna consider February my trial month and because I really didn't do so much in January figure that for February and then in March I actually start couponing just because um or not couponing but like doing my rebates and starting my blog and stuff like that just because I feel like I don't know I kind of didn't like plan my time really well to you know like I started doing like these blog posts sample blog posts I guess and like started doing my lists and stuff like that and again it's a longer headache I think than I'm making it sound it's more like it's going to be helpful for what I want to do if that makes sense and I know it's not going to make sense in what I'm trying to say right now and not explaining it but I don't want to go into too much detail but like making my list will help me later down the road and trying to do them ahead of time now and then let it sink in for next month, I think will be a little bit easier. So that's what I'd like to do. But um, yeah, we'll we'll see. But um, like I said, I want to do a little bit tomorrow. And maybe I'll share like a smidgen of it over here. And then I'll start, like I said, maybe next month actually doing it um, back on my channel and sharing with you guys some of those deals and things like that. Because I miss sharing like that kind of stuff. And I miss posting on that. And like I feel like... I don't know. I don't know what I want to call it, but like I feel more like not professional, but just it's more like something that I'm very regimented in doing. Like I am with the the vlogs, but I feel like I'm a lot more free spirit and kind of like whatever goes kind of thing. Whereas there I'm very like I like to be organized and have time slots for things and like have stuff done in certain times and my blogs need to be scheduled out and the videos need to be scheduled out and you know I need to have this done and this and this and this by this weekend or you know stuff like that. Whereas you know over here I'm just like yeah guys we got snow. <laughs> so um yeah I'm gonna take a shower and head to bed so that I can get up early it's weird though because my mom was saying Sunday and I was like tomorrow's Sunday and I was like wait no today's only Friday like it still feels like yeah so um 
hopefully if we don't get too much snow which like i said it's not snowing right now but if we don't get too much then we can leave early in the morning without my dad having to shovel out the driveway and the cars and everything um so i will see you guys all though in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sun jenny faces tomorrow so bye guys